Hey guys, how's it going? Tool Cruise here and welcome to another video here in Nagoya, Japan. So I wanted to make a follow-up video from a recent video I made on this channel where I gave some tips and recommendations for things to wear while cycling, while bike commuting in the winter. And I got a comment on that video that really stuck with me and that was that I was promoting all this really expensive cycling stuff and really, you don't really need all this expensive equipment to get out on the bike. And one of the things I've really started to become passionate about on this channel is making more videos about bike commuting, making more videos that help motivate people to get out on their bikes where they normally would be taking their car to work and stuff. And a lot of you guys who watch this channel know that I ride my bike to work every single day, round trip, 40 kilometers every day here in Japan. So rainy season, summer, winter, every day I'm out riding my bike and I wanted to make today's video talking about how you don't need all this expensive equipment and I wanna help try and reduce the barriers to help motivate a few more people to get out and ride their bikes. So as you can see today, it's nearing the end of the day. We've got a nice beautiful sunset where by the rice fields here. And today I actually didn't have work. It's a national holiday. I'm actually over here picking up my wife from her work. So we're gonna be riding back together today. And she's off work in another 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna film this video really quick before she gets off. You can see I'm just wearing normal clothes right now. So I've just got a normal jacket. This is actually a cycling jacket, but I mean, you get the point. You could just be wearing a normal jacket and it's fine. I'm wearing sweatpants. And I've got cycling shoes on as well, but you really don't need cycling shoes. Like I commute half the time on flat pedals. On rainy days, I'm always wearing flat pedals with sandals because sandals don't get wet. So that's one of my tricks for riding in the wet weather is I just wear these sandals so I don't have to deal with wet shoes. I don't have to deal with wet socks. So I'm riding flat pedals on my normal fixie single speed bike. And I mean, I bought that bike used. You can buy a used single speed for 200, $300 in pretty good condition. And honestly, I've ridden that bike for about four years now and I've never really had to do any maintenance on it. I've changed the brake pads on it once and I really should have bought a new chain, but I actually haven't bought a new chain and I actually dropped my chain the other day, unfortunately. So I will be having to buy a new chain for that soon. But honestly, I've had less than like $20 in maintenance on that bike in four years of using it and I just ride it with flat pedals. So you can really get out there and use any bike that works, any clothes that works like if you just have a pair of sweatpants, jeans, whatever lying around, like it's obviously colder temperatures now, so I'm wearing jeans, but in the summer you could just be wearing like normal soccer shorts, athletic shorts, or even just regular shorts, whatever you have. Uh, I wouldn't recommend riding with your dress pants in the summer. That's probably gonna be too hot, especially if you're in an area like Japan where it's super hot and super humid, but you get the point. Like whatever you have, you can make it work. There's a few minimum things that you should have if you're bike commuting. One of those is of course a helmet. This helmet is actually really, really old and I should get a new helmet as well. That's another thing on my list. I'm really horrible procrastinator. I'm one of the worst people to give this kind of advice, but I mean, an old helmet is better than no helmet. So whatever you have lying around, if you have an old helmet lying around that you never use and you don't have the money to buy a new helmet, I mean, half the reason a lot of people ride their bikes to work, I'm sure is to help save money. So it kind of defeats the point if you go and blow all this money on all this stuff that you don't necessarily need. So another example in the winter of things that I like to use, I mentioned in my last video, if you didn't check it out, I'd recommend watching it after you watch this video. I give a couple other advice on some cycling equipment that you might be interested in. So if you're new to cycling, new to bike commuting, you might not be aware of some of the different materials that are out there, the different items that you can use. And while some of the items are actually really expensive, they can be a really nice upgrade that make your commute feel a lot better. One of the things that I like to use though, that's just a normal item and that is this scarf. So one of the more expensive solutions, it's not even really an expensive solution, but it's spending another 10, $20 that you wouldn't normally spend. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there watching these videos have a scarf lying around somewhere. And if not, I mean, just go down to the next thing that you have. You might have like a hoodie, a sports hoodie or something. Anything works. And again, the cycling hats, the ear warmers, those are things that you don't necessarily need. Like if you just have some sort of beanie, some sort of regular winter hat lying around, you can wear that and just loosen your helmet, fit it on underneath and you're good to go. And the hoodies are really great because the hoodies cover your back so you don't have that extra wind chill factor and you can help insulate the heat inside. So just a normal hoodie, a normal winter jacket with a hood, all that stuff is great. So I realize this video isn't quite as long as my other commute videos on this channel. And normally I'm riding my bike when I make these videos, but today I decided to stop and talk in front of the camera. One of the main reasons is because is it's really windy today, but I had this on my mind and I had a few minutes to film this video before Tone gets off of work. But let me know if you guys like this video. If you 
want to see more videos like this and if you have any other questions or topics you'd like me to go over let me know another video i'm planning to make soon on this channel is about my recommended bikes for commuting what bike i recommend the most so like road bike mountain bike cyclocross bike and right now i'm actually test riding for the first time a belt drive commuter hybrid kind of bike and so i've been testing all these bikes on my commutes throughout the years and i've got a lot to say about that i wanted to make a separate video for that i apologize for my voice today if it sounds a little bit raspy i actually have a little bit of a cold going on as we get into the colder temperatures here in japan and i think i'm going to stop talking right now to conserve my voice i've got to go back to work tomorrow and yeah as always thanks for watching and i hope these videos help motivate you to get out on the bike ride your bike to work and most of all just enjoy the ride biking to work every day has been one of the most significant changes in my life lately especially now that i've gone long distance this last year compared to my short distance uh, bike commuting that i've done for the last few years it's been a challenge some days are harder than others but at the end of the day i'm always happy to have made the choice to ride my bike into work anyway guys that's it for today the sun is starting to set unfortunately and it just gets darker and darker earlier and earlier this is the bike i'm riding today this is the bmc alpen challenge 01 one belt drive super nice premium setup so it's not my bike it's just a rental but i am thinking to invest in a belt drive commuter system bike for myself in the future one day but I've got too many bikes as it is right now and I don't think I can get the wife's approval, but we'll see if that'll happen sometime in the near future. If you're interested in this bike, check out my other first impressions video that I just made the other day. I'll link that up above um, as well. And as always, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time here on Tool Cruise.